playing this weekend, so we hope that happens. All right, we're going to be taking some phone calls. This is the Gorgeous George Show, and remember who's in charge of this ring circus. Hello. I guess I wasn't that important, so I'll go ahead and fix my hair a little bit here. And fix it up even more here. I'll take it from inside here. Hello? George. Hello. What's going on? Uh, not much. Really? Comments or questions Sorry. tonight? Yeah, really. But I'm glad you called to say really to, and thank you. Not much going on tonight, but I'm on TV, blessing your TV screen, but thank you for noticing. Woo! Tell you what. Anyway, so we got that to talk about. We got another call here we're going to grab. Hello? Ah, you're playing with yourself again. Okay, we can't, you know, if you want to play with yourself, we don't want to know about it. That's your personal problem. You need to take it somewhere in the corner. Okay, line two. Okay, that's not. Okay. Hey, hey Mike, I, I'm going to take the calls in here, okay? Let, let, let me take the calls. Cool? Okay. All right. Uh, line one. I guess not. Okay. Hello. Comments or questions? George, how you doing? What's going on? What's your name? Uh, Brian, how are, how are you? I'm doing fine. Comments or questions tonight? Quick question for you. Do you think that Barack Obama was the best uh, Democratic candidate instead of Hillary Clinton? And also, do you think he may have felt threatened by uh, possibly choosing her as her his uh, vice presidential candidate? I don't, th okay, I don't think that out of the two, I think Hillary Clinton was, was the better choice. I think Hillary Clinton was the better choice. Obviously, I'm biased because I'm Bill Clinton. I'm, I'm biased because I like Bill Clinton. I think we, as a country, excelled in the 90s under the Clintons. That being said, Barack won fair and square. Barack is a very, you know, I, I like what Barack, Barack is about. I was very disappointed that he didn't choose Hillary. I thought that Hillary was the choice. By that being said, Joe Biden is a decent choice, too. So... When it's all said and done, you have this, you know, granted it's not the top choice, but it's a person that is just as uh, able and ready to rule this country, I think. Hey, great. Good night, George. Thank you. All right. That, that was a great call. That was a great call. Okay. You on the air? Okay. All right. Hello? George, how are you doing? Give us the questions. Want to talk about Obama? Go right ahead. Yeah, you you're talking about a situation where someone called him a communist or a socialist. Right. You're sitting here tonight, you're advocating a socialized medical system. You're also advocating the Obama tax plan, which he told Joe the plumber yesterday that he wanted to take his money and spread it around, spread it out evenly. So that is, by definition, socialism. So Obama is a socialist, and you are a fact. Okay. Well, you know what? You are an idiot. You are an idiot. Okay, your, your comment tonight, okay, there's one thing about being political. When you get personal, buddy, you become an idiot. You become a ass grinder, okay? You take your head, meet and greet your own log, flush your log with your head down and come out at the same time, and that would be equivalent to the phone call. Now, on the good topic, I'm open for debate. I'm open for a debate. That's great. Socialist, you want to talk about a socialist? I'll talk about a socialist. Okay, you want to talk about a democracy? Okay, let me tell you something. You, the Republicans are notorious because of, you know, making comments about people believing in doing something. We have government control. Government is in control of the situation, whether you want to believe it or not. Having a socialistic, having socialistic values, okay, because you believe in helping people, because you believe in trying to do something with a system that's corrupt, you call that socialistic? No, I call that a democracy. I call that trying to make something happen and trying to make something afloat. So you can call it socialistic all you want. I call it, I call it a capitalism. I call it capitalism. You can talk about the socialistic uh, views all you want. It's not socialistic to care about doing something and helping a system that's been corrupt ever since the Republicans have been in office. The Republicans are notorious for using that word and you're raising taxes. Raising taxes, how about the deficit? Worry about the deficit that we have been under. Only owning our, for, for China and um, Russia and England and France, the money that we have that pretty much have, have spent, and we all these countries, these, these secondary countries, you know, we're a laughing stock under this president. We're a laughing stock under the president, and we are, we're under a major recession under senior Bush. Okay, so let's, let's get right down to it. The Clinton years were the best years this country ever had. Bill Clinton, in my eyes, was the best living day president this country had. You know why? Because we were in a better economical structure, we had affordable housing, and we were in a better 
situation as far as more money in the pockets. So under Bush, we have been under the crapper. Under Bush, we've been in a malaise, and McCain and Palin is a ticket right down the same direction. If you want to change, you'll vote for Obama. Okay, now I'm a little, <laughs> I'm getting a little hot on the collar here. But I, anyway, but you know, it's, it's great. It's great to have a different opinion. But be a little bit more intelligent than rather than using the stereotypes. Be a little bit more intelligent rather than using the name calling. A socialistic, socialistic or communist, you know, that's your opinion and you're entitled to it, but be more, a little cre be more creative because it's not socialistic. It is a democracy and it's time for a change and it's time to get this country back in the better, better path. And the only choice out there is Barack Obama. Line two. Okay, let's go. Okay, more term on the calls. That's it. All right, anyway, so that's pretty much what it boils down to. You know, hey, I am up for a good debate. Debate me. This is a comedy show. We're very comical, but, you know, I got to put in my personal two cents in there. I got to put in my personal two cents. We're getting political here. You know what I'm saying? Line one, talk to us. Okay. Guess not. Talk to us. Yeah, I want to talk about Tony Romo. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea for him to play with this injury. It's, it's a situation where the Cowboys could get hurt here, just like you could get a disease from the Craigslist. Uh, okay. The Tony Romo situation is uh, he's talked in with, with the people. He's talked with the, the ones out there thinking that he could be out there as a quarterback, I mean, be playing quarterback this week. The pinky is the, the obviously – is the, is a finger that causes motion in the ball. Um, Brett Favre had called up Tony Romo and, and told him basically that if he feels like playing, playing. So you know, you know, if Tony Romo and the doc, he passes it through the doctors and he feels like playing this week, then by all means play it. Now the second comment you were making about whatever uh, is mumbo jumbo. So you know, you you got chopped off like a bad habit. That's obvious. You know, we're gonna take one more call and then we're gonna put a moratorium for all the calls tonight. Line two. You're on the air. Hey, George. Did you get lucky with that prostitute last week? Excuse me? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, you know, um, now maybe I didn't catch that, but obviously, whatever. I'm not going to worry about that. So, it was a great, I mean, that's what it boils down to. Okay, we'll take one more call. And that's the same caller that, no, that's a different call. Line one. Okay, that's it. Because if you're not ready to speak, then we're not going